Hey you guys, so I'm back at it again. My name is Pinky. I am a life coach. I am your resident love spirit guy. How have you been doing? What's been going on? Listen, y'all, I have not been in the greatest of moods. And it's not even because that I'm not positive, and it's not even because I don't have light within me. I have light within me. That's what's actually allowing me to go within the darkness, but not get stuck in the illusion of darkness that I have. And it's like all of this darkness that I'm feeling is it's emotions that I have suppressed for so long and it's emotions that I have ran away from from so long because I never had a safe enough space to to express myself I never had a safe enough space to like cry and I never had a safe enough space to like really feel my emotions and feel who I am and feel what I needed to feel about like not having true support not having true people around me to actually love on me to actually give life to me to validate me in the ways that i need to be validated and not in the ways they see that i need they see how they want to validate me and not actually how i need to be validated if that makes sense and it's like lately <sighs> i've been having to like really bring myself out of this not understanding like this is something that's needed like I need a purge. This new moon is actually making me purge. This new moon is making me release. This new moon is making me cry. This new moon, new moon is making me uh, really transform that negativity, that pain that I had into power for myself, into purpose for myself, into reason for myself. And it's like, it's making me see my true self because I can focus on the failure because there's always two sides of us. We have the devil on our side and we have the guy. And I understand that the devil on our side is just the devil within us that's wanting us to, us to be a villain, you know, wanting us to be somebody um who tears our own self down and not understand that every villain has a reason every villain has a story so if you go within that story and you heal that story and you reroute it to a new truth you'll have a hero in all of your stories in all of the senses of yourself of course you need that villain because you need that villain to tell you about other people's villains just trying to make you a villain not understanding i'm cool with my villain i just gotta feed her you know i just gotta watch certain tv for her i gotta do certain things for her so she can stay fed and so she can stay nourished and so she won't take too much out of me but she'll take enough to where she can still feed on me and she can still le live and i can still live at the same time too like <laughs> it's just this energy of you going within your darkness and you you finding that that child in you who needs to cry who who needs a hug who needs that validation and it's like i've been craving somebody to support me i've been craving for somebody to love me i've been craving for so much connections not understanding that i'm craving it for myself i'm craving it for myself i'm wanting myself to love me i'm wanting myself to see me i'm wanting myself to actually have compassion for itself and actually be like you are a child you did not know you were not supposed to know all of this. You did the best that you could with the resources that you had, and you have to be okay with that. But are you willing to move on from that as well? You know, I'm not going to invalidate your pain, and I'm not going to invalidate what you're going through, but I am going to just validate the truth. So if you want to keep living in this cycle, we can. But if you want to do better, then we need to go up to right here because we're not in that anymore. We know why they did that. We know why we stayed. And we know why stuff happened. So are you going to allow yourself to still live in this negativity? Are you going to allow yourself to live in the truth of the situation? Your light, your love, your respect, your integrity, the things that you're craving, the things that you're desiring. Are you going to allow yourself to actually validate that truth? Are you going to stay stuck on the fact that, oh, well this still hasn't worked and this still hasn't gone through and this still hasn't gone this and this still hasn't gone this and it's just like because that's how i am it's like i'm more so looking at the lack of everything and i'm more so focusing on the fact of how i'm still feel like i got it's not a feeling i did get taken back to like the first stages of when I did all of this and I'm getting stuck that I had to restart all over again not understanding that I restarted with love for myself I restarted with who I am I restarted with God I restarted and I'm saying restarted because it's like I am a new person but I'm a new person who's actually a person and not who's a follower of somebody else who follows somebody else I started back as a leader, you know, I gained my leader um, qualities. I cultivated that within myself and I'm cultivating how to be a leader, how to be an effective communicator, how to be an effective lover, how to be an effective friend, how to be effective to myself. And it's like, I'm only seeing the fact that I have to start over again. So that means 
I have to get a new apartment. I have to get furniture. I have to get, you know, just a new car. It's like, I have to get everything over because what the other stuff was rooted in, it, it wasn't rooted in God. It wasn't rooted in me. It was rooted in a facade. It was rooted in insecurity. It was rooted in desper de desperation. It was rooted in the obligation. It was rooted in, the, in, in things that were not of me, but stuff that I had to do at the time. I had to do at the time because that's how I felt like <laughs> you know it, it was just tied to too much and i had to throw so much i've thrown so much things away to where i only have i want to say three good dresses two pants um yeah two pants two shirts and two hoodies that's it like when i say god cleared me out and it's crazy because spread thin by maria the scientist is playing and i'm just like wow <laughs> because it's just like as i'm looking back and as i'm thinking about it it's like god is just trying to get me to purge everything and i know it's a purging of something it's not a purging of something it's a purging of this old habit of obligation it's a purging of this old habit of desperation doing things out of desperation doing things because you feel like you have to doing things because you feel like you need to are keeping certain people around just because you feel like okay well this is um <laughs> you know this is you need them for this amount of time so you're gonna keep them on this roster because you need them for something because you're codependent you know what i'm saying and and i was listening to queen cup and she was telling me it was like you want somebody else to come and just love you and love on you but you can't even do that with yourself you're being codependent in that aspect because you feel like you can only heal when you heal with other people now do i understand there's a sense of community when you do heal with other people of course but if you can't even do it with your own self how are you going to have the ability to be vulnerable and cry in front of other people how are you going to have this ability to be vulnerable and cry in front of your lover how are you going to feel comfortable crying in front of your lover if you haven't even cried in front of yourself enough to make yourself comfortable with your own tears and so it's like you having to really realize that like you have to be comfortable with who you are fully if you want other people to be comfortable with who you are fully and it's this energy of me especially me. i tie it back to myself a lot because i, I i'm not talking to nobody right now <laughs> okay and my friend's business is personal my family business i really be telling y'all about my family business because i don't care you know i i know at the end of the day we're gonna fix what we got going on and we're gonna come back and we're gonna all love each other and we're gonna all just like be there for each other like right now they really right for me as i'm trying to figure myself out and i'm trying to just go into something new so hey <laughs> i feel like after i tell my truth of how i felt about my sister how i felt about my granny how i felt about my mama i just feel like it's getting better and it's getting there it's just i have to be more comfortable around who they are it's just like it's like i have to be more comfortable around them because i have to accept them for who they are now and not who they used to be and it's like i'm still seeing them as who they used to be and not seeing them as who they are now and if i see them as who they are now i'll actually find more love for them i'll find more time for them and i find more this ability to be comfortable with them and this ability to be open with them but i'm still looking at them from when i was 16 when i was 15 when i was 13 and it's like i'm not looking at the grown adults that are right here with me and if i look at the grown adults then there will be change in my family because i am the spark i am the mindset i <laughs> am the affirmation that started the change that affiliated something so it's like i have to realize that my purpose here is to change a world is to bring love back into conversations. It's to bring God back into existence. My purpose here is to help people get aligned with love and understanding love does not have to be so traumatic. There are traumatic loves because people love to be in trauma and people love trauma. So their love is based around trauma, but there is another love where it's based around peace, where it's based around respect, where it's based around who you are as a person and who you truly desire to be. You know, love is light, <laughs> but love can live in darkness as well. I was watching Hourglass by Jazz and she was like, love is love is something that you don't polarize. It's just love. You know, at the end of the day, it's just love whether that be traumatic or whether that be positive it's your version of love so i can't tell you your version of love because it's your love <laughs> um but yeah but what i've been going through has been it's been huh, a whirlwind and it's like 
for me personally, I feel like God has given me a month. And it's not in a sense of like, because again, time is an illusion. It's not about time. It's not about putting yourself on a time limit and making yourself like, no, you only got a month, so you need to get your shit together. No, no, no. It, it's, not, it's not this masculine energy because right now in the collective, we need more feminine energy. We need more love. Like even for myself, because one of the ways that I've always gotten myself to work well with myself was, okay, you need to get your act together. Because at the end of the day, ain't nobody finna come in and save you. And ain't nobody finna come in and do what you want them to do like you finna do it. And it's like, no. <laughs> the way that you love yourself is the way that other people will love you. And I always got to repeat that back to myself because I have to understand the softer I am with me, the softer people will be with me. The soft, the more understanding I will be with myself, the more understanding people will be with me. The more that I communicate with myself, the better communication I will get outside of myself because God is the reflection of my outside. So my, 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 my outside is a reflection of my inner world so god is the one handling the outer world so he is reflecting what's in my mental state so if my mental state is peaceful is loving is slow is patient you know prideful fast and chaotic at times too but if it's more feminine in the energy and it's more like just slower and i can understand and i can flow and i don't have to worry about things because the feminine energy is very much just like this thing of nurturing and a lot of us need to be nurturing a lot of us need to be feminine regardless if you're a man or a woman it's just like we need to embody this feminine energy of like slowness of truthfulness of 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 love you know purity pure awareness at its finest and that's what we need to start adopting but it's like this energy of like we're so used to being masculine that we think the only way that we can love people is if we're masculine. And it's like, no. Right now, it's calling for a very feminine aspect of ourselves. Right now, it's calling for us to very much find that center within ourselves, to, to talk to ourselves, to be one with ourselves, to see ourselves, to really, truly, like, love ourselves. <sighs> I don't know, y'all. Yeah. Oof. But yeah, <laughs> I've been just trying to find myself because lately, listen, lately I've just been off track. I've been noticing like I've been so caught up in my emotions because I need this. Don't get me wrong. Like if anybody's not feeling good, I say go through it. Like you're not feeling good for a reason. You're not feeling good because not because of now, not because of your present moment. Your present moment is actually beautiful. Your present moment is actually wonderful. Your present moment is actually abundant. If you really start looking at it and being like nothing is holding me back. God has gotten that out of the way and I'm proud of that but i feel like the focus is not the present moment as much as the focus is on you getting these emotional wounds that you have inside of your heart you need to cry that out because that's baggage that stuff still clouding your heart that stuff stills blocking your heart chakra because as as much as i'm going through this dark times i can tell you this is the most peace i have ever found um <laughs> though i don't know what i'm gonna do I don't know how God is going to get my life together. I don't know how I'm going to get my life together. But I know it's coming. The peace in knowing that it's coming. And the peace in knowing that all I have to do is just work on loving myself. And lightening up my perspective. And lightening up my existence. And lightening up who I am, where I am, and what I'm doing. That's beautiful to me. That's that's abundant to me. That's That's wonderful to me. The fact that all I have to do is just find love within myself and nobody else that's beautiful like i ain't gotta do nothing else but just love myself i ain't gotta do nothing else but just find myself i ain't gotta do nothing else but just get to myself to understand what experience do i want to experience next what is it that i want to do next what is it that I, I want to have within my existence next it's all i have to do and you think i'm gonna sit up here and be mad come on uh, 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 uh. I'm just, ugh. and I know my my mind is everywhere. I'm, that's why I'm like I really can't focus because the energy for me is everywhere. I'm getting a headache now. I just can't. <laughs> The energy for me is like, the energy is just so everywhere. And it's so much coming at you at once because one, you have to accept it. But it's another thing of like, you really just having to sit there and just cry. Because like, when you actually think about how you've been done wrong, 
not even from just other people but yourself as well even though that yourself didn't know but it's like to know that i hurt myself so much and having to feel that hurt is like wow i will never treat you like that again you know i will never do things that i did to you like that again i'm so sorry and it's like me waking up and apologizing to myself and just being like i'm sorry you know I, I didn't mean to do the things that i did i didn't mean to be the type of person that i was i didn't mean to like hurt you in the way that i did or say certain things or not say certain things i didn't know any better and i didn't i didn't know this is what love was. I thought love was like this because of how I've been taught, you know, and it's not to demonize what they have taught me. And it's not to demonize them and saying like, you should have been better. It's not about you should have been better. It's just about, hey, you gonna learn when you learn. But as I'm learning, I'll just learn that I can't, I can't roll like that. And I still love you for who you are, but I just can't be around you. <clears throat> But yeah, I hope this helps. I want to say this is like a collective message, but honestly, this is this is this is just gonna be my random my random chats. <laughs> and I know all my random chats have a purpose, and I know all my random things. It, anything I speak is not random. Anything I speak is not random. It's from the words of the Lord, and I'm have to listen back to this just for myself because right now I'm going through a moment of allowing love in i'm going through a moment of really releasing it's like a heart <laughs> a heart that's been filled up with all types of stuff but it's a heart that's not red i'm seeing it as brown it's like brown it's gunky it's green it got vomit on it it's just this heart that's so imperfective it's just so deflective and you had to break it and with breaking it means that you had to release anything and everything that was just gunky from the shit that was on it, the throw up that was on it, the piss that was on it, just all of that. You have to release all of the, the nasty stuff that that heart been through. We're cleansing it out. We're cleansing it out, you know? And then we pouring it back into myself and pouring it back into my heart and then pouring back my truth pouring back my love pouring back my respect for myself pouring back just my energy for myself pouring back just my true devotion for me and it's like that's the energy that i'm going through i'm going through an energy of like loving myself seeing myself filling myself back up with my new truth of how i see the world now so it's like i'm getting my heart to understand just how in love we are with each other i'm getting myself to understand just how i'm a new person and just how different i am and it's like i'm giving myself a month because where i want to go next is in a month okay so i'm giving myself a month because where i want to go i'm not taking this with me I already know that it's solved. I already know that it's fixed. I already told God where I want to go. I already told God where I want to be. I'm giving myself a month because 18, 18 as I'm finna say this, because I love myself enough to know once I get to my new new world, once I get to my new timeline, once I get to my new self, I don't want to bring this certain energy with me. I don't want to bring this, this part of myself with me. I don't want to bring this unloving, unsupportive, unhappy, lacks communication, lacks the strength to actually embrace light or love with inside of herself i don't want to bring that with me the new pinky is all about love the new pinky is all about speaking life into people the new pinky is all about happiness and being optimistic the new pinky is about embracing light embracing self embracing others the new pinky is all about seeing that everybody has a difference and everybody has different opinions but at the end of the day I still believe we can coexist and I still believe we can be beautiful and we can help each other evolve in this lifetime. Th this pinky, if I have to leave, then I leave, you know. I will always be open to a relationship with you, but I will not be open to the disrespect. And if you disrespect me, then respectfully, I'm going to leave. I don't have to yell at you. I don't have to um, fight you. I don't have to belittle you. I don't have to do anything. I just can leave. You know, this new pinky is just not confrontational. She's not about like the, and it's not even about being confrontational. It's like, I'm not for the tit for tat. I'm not for the fighting. I'm not, God will handle all of that for me. I'm not for that. Like, I will not put that negative energy out there 
just for it to come back to me later on. And when it comes back to me, I'm a God gonna hit me with a big one. When it come back to you, it's gonna be many compared to what he's gonna do for me because I knew better and I knew I should have did better. One thing that I always live by is you do good, good will happen to you. You do bad, bad will happen to you. And that's one of the things that always kept me out of something because that meant so much to me. You do bad, bad things will happen to you. You do good, good things will happen to you. And for a lot of my life, good things have always happened to me because I've always done good by people because I've always done good by myself. And lately I've been having to not tell too many people what I got going on and not tell too many people how I feel because like I tell you, the people around me, though I'm thankful that they are supporting me and though I'm thankful that they are like helping me during this time, I know if I went to you and I told you something, it still wouldn't get through to you because you don't even see the God within me. So how can I allow you to see the God within me and see the God's plan within me if you don't even see the God within me are you? <laughs> I don't know. So it's like, right now, for me personally, God is just calling me a lot to silence. He's calling me to look within myself and see myself, really find that spark again. And I can only find that spark when I go truly dark and when I truly have the, the freedom to cry, the freedom to really cry out everything that I've been through and bring compassion for it. And I have to be okay with that. And it's a moment that I'm going to have to find within myself, love within myself, cultivate within myself, and be honest about how being vulnerable is very powerful. Being vulnerable is very much something I need and something I crave and something I truly seek because I seek community with people who are vulnerable. I seek community with people who are, who can be themselves and who can just allow themselves to to be open about the pain that they feel inside. And if I can't do it for myself, then how am I gonna bring in people that are gonna do it with me? How am I gonna bring in people that are going to take this route with me? How am I gonna bring in people who are going to really love me in the way that I need to be loved if I can't even do it for myself and I can't even see it for myself? Like, come on, Pinky. You got to do better than that, so. Yeah, I've just been learning how to love me. <laughs> I've been learning how to love me. I swear I've been learning how to love me. I've been learning how to let go of the old and end with the new and focus on truth and not who's to blame. Because I could blame myself every day. I could blame my mama every day. I could blame my granny every day. I could blame my sisters every day. I can find somebody to blame. Okay, but until I get to the real focus, the real truth, or the fact of I already know all my problems, I'm already healed. This is what I'm choosing to believe next because I understand those are though those happen. I understand that darkness, and I understand why that darkness was here, and I understand what happened within that darkness. But that darkness is not me. That darkness is just a piece of the story that it took for me to find the strength within the light, within the darkness. So it's just having to having to look at yourself for who you want to be and not who you are trying to force yourself to be a victim of. And a lot of us are living in victimhood and we're not living in true victory and in the moment that you want to live as the victor and not the victim you will be better but a lot of us want to be victims because we want somebody to blame whether that be our mom whether that be our sister whether that be our even ourselves it's like we just want somebody to blame because we don't want to take full accountability of the fact that if I just focus on the light, then light will come to me because we don't believe that would be that easy because we have been set up to think as slaves and think that it's not even just think of slaves as much as we just have been set up to think that working hard is your reward for getting what you want and not the reward is you being who you are allows you to be allows you to get anything and everything that you wanted but now it's like we think that in a physical sense if we do physical work we burn out physically if we just become something physically 
then that's the reward and God will reward us like that. And it's like, no, God rewards you out of the love that you have for yourself. God rewards you out of the mindset that you have for yourself. God rewards you for who you are and who you allowed yourself to be because the more that you allow yourself to be you, you allow yourself to live with God and it shows that God is in, in existence. You know, it, it, it makes people think about conversations of love. It makes people think of conversations of light. It makes people see the qualities of what God actually is because the more that you be who you want to be, then God can come back into reality because you are a version of the creator. <laughs> you are what the creator made you to be. You are what the creator allowed you to be. You are a piece of the creator. And you have to understand that. And it's like the more that we become who we need to be, then it's like God will start to make ways for us and will start to move with us and will start to do things for us just because you are allowing yourself to be you. I never said you had to have this amount of money. I never said you had to have this kind of car. I never said that you you had to be around certain people to get what you wanted. I said you had to be you. You know, I said you had to be truthful. I said you had to be real with yourself. I said you had to love yourself, truly love yourself. Well, actually, I don't even want you to love yourself. You can do whatever you want to do. But I wanted you to be light because I wanted you to reflect the part of me that's within you as you be you. So, yeah. Mm. And that's how I feel like God is talking to me because it's like I need to see the value within the love that I have. I need to see the value within the power that my love holds. I need to see the value that it has to have yourself. I need to see how valuable it is that you found yourself. There's people out here who don't even love themselves. I'm 21 years old and I love myself. And I know I love myself by the journey that I'm taking, by the way that I chose God, even though people around me truly didn't know what God was and they tried to make me be something that I wasn't, but I chose to be who I wanted to allow myself to be and the connection that I wanted to have God with the power to be a leader within my own right to lead myself onto the right path for me it's like I need to see how powerful it is for what I have been doing for my whole 21 years of my life and if I don't see that power God is going to not it's not even about like God is going to not it's more of a sense of like if you don't even see how powerful you are why would I give you power why would I give you this? You don't you don't even think you are deserving of it. You don't even think you're worthy of it. You don't even see how great in value that you have within yourself that these people that I'm trying to bring into you are just added benefits to the power that you have for yourself. Added love that you have for yourself. Added added um admiration for yourself. Because the fact that you can be so open and honest with yourself just showed you just how much you could have a tribe who is open and honest with you, who are open and honest with themselves, who are open and honest with people around them, who, who are just open and honest and loving. It's just like you having to really realize, I'm saying you, but I mean me, me having to really realize just how powerful it is that I have me. And if I don't see that yet, he will refuse to give me what I want because I'm living beneath myself because I feel like I am deserving of living beneath myself until I have to work for something physically to get what I want. And until I can come into the ability, the power that my mental, emotional, and spiritual side hold, he's not going to give me what I want because I'm not validating the truth of what I seek so desperately. <sighs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope that helped. I hope that helped somebody out there. I hope that got you to love yourself. I hope that got you to see yourself because it's a journey. It's a journey to love yourself. It's a process to love yourself. It's a it's definitely something that you have to something that you you have to work on each and every day and I work on each and every day loving myself seeing myself being one with myself truly getting me to see that like what I have to say is important who I am is important and what I do is important because I know I'm going to change the world I know you know I'm going to be somebody I know I'm already somebody like going to be somebody I'm I'm already somebody I'm a life coach <laughs> okay I know my messages are already helping people I know my messages are already right for people I know my messages are already getting people to be okay and be comfortable within that darkness so you can find the light because you need to be comfortable within the dark to be the light within the dark what queen cup say she was like you see stars are lit at night because <laughs> that's the light that comes out within the darkness 
we are lights within this darkness we can live in dark we just have to be true to our light and true to ourselves there's many of other stars out there with y'all you just have to allow yourself to know how to maneuver through the through the darkness but yeah i hope this helps somebody because this is truly just me talking because lately we will be really, we're really just gonna get car rants from pinky okay <laughs> it's really just gonna be the journey of how pinky like became that billionaire <laughs> Because this is, this, this is life coaching, but it's also just a document of my own life and a document of my own love for myself and a document of me getting to love myself, getting to see myself and people truly seeing the process it takes to love yourself, see yourself and have a connection with God. Plus just have a deeper connection with life itself. It takes time. This is my sixth year and I'm still, I'm just now coming to the point where I feel like i don't honestly i can't even be like i feel like a failure no more because i don't feel like a failure anymore honestly i know i'm a success i know i'm powerful i know i'm that girl either way it go <laughs> though i might be down and about right now i know i'm that girl i know i'm still it 17 as i say that i know i'm gonna be good it's just i have to get it through my head of how i can mentally allow myself to see just how powerful i am and once i get that power going child i can't wait because i'm out of arrogance a lot of people be saying i'm be walking in my true leo energy like i ain't got no leo on my chart but i don't believe in like just because you don't have it in your chart doesn't mean it's it's not there within you because i feel like all the signs are us and i feel like we all youth youth the i don't know what that i don't know what the word means but we all like effectively use them it at certain points of our lives because i've seen myself be a virgo i feel like every time i clean i'm like a virgo because i'm like mm -mm, this this needs to be perfect this needs to be good this needs to get out my hair i feel like this cancer is, energy is what's making me cry what's making me have com more compassion not only for others but myself as well and then you know we have the leo energy because i feel like i need to be more confident within who i am and where i'm trying to go so it's it's a lot going on but it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay because we're gonna get to this together i'm gonna get this together i say we because i feel like i feel like there's people in the collective that's going through what i'm going through and i want to be able to bring one of the reasons i did my channel is because i want to be able to bring light back it, it's okay to not be as light as you think you should because at the end of the day the fact that you know that you're light and you know that something is wrong with you it takes light to be aware <laughs> what it takes it takes a part of you loving yourself to be aware of yourself to know that wait something about me is wrong and something about me is not just as right as i thought it was gonna be because i should not be this sour i should not be this down i should not be this just Ugh, like about myself like the fact that you notice that says a lot about yourself says a lot about what you've been doing says a lot about how you've been healing says a lot about how you've been looking at yourself says a lot about how you just love yourself enough to know mm -mm, something right i need to i need to figure this out but yeah what i did want to say is i hope everything is good i hope everything is going okay i just kind of wanted to update me on how i've been doing how i've been going and how i've been working within my life at this moment because i feel like i've been going through a lot and i've been going through a lot of loving myself seeing myself and being one with myself truly and i just wanted to i'm always about coming on here and being honest okay i'm all about coming on here and being honest and being truthful if my eyes is everywhere because honestly my energy is everywhere <laughs> my energy is everywhere i'm at the lake and i'm just seeing a lot of stuff and i'm just like child hmm but I'm at peace though. I really do love myself and I really am excited for this journey. I'm, I'm really am excited to like open my heart back up because I cannot wait because I know it's like so close. I know it's just one little word that I have to say, one thing that I have to just flicker with inside of me and everything is just going to go right. Like I just know it's just some, it's, it's just one piece that I'm missing with inside of my truths to get my heart to really feel this code word of just like, bitch, you love yourself. Get it together. Get it together. <laughs> i don't know it, i just know it's like it's like a light that just flickers on like it's it, it just something that's just needs to click with inside of myself and i just know it's gonna be dope 
but i'm still offering sessions you can check my email down below i don't have the energy to give to a lot of people today i probably i might make another one of these tomorrow but i don't know but i hope life is going good for you i hope life is going great for you